Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating show hide text animations using the Flash F component. Before we get started, I just want to point out that you need to be using ActionScript 3.0 for this to work, which means that you need Flash CS3 or newer. At this point, Flash CS3 is the newest, so you need the newest version of Flash in order for this to work at this present time. So, show hide animations, what exactly are they? Well, a show hide animation, simply put, is an animation that fades something in and then fades it back out. So let's take a look at how exactly we can do that using Flash F. It's very quick, very easy, and we're going to use some text because text is slightly more difficult to do this with than a simple movie clip or an image or something of that matter. The first thing I want to do, when you open a new Flash file, or you open, or you create a brand new blank Flash file, you want to change the frame rate to 30 frames per second. This will ensure that all of your animations are smooth and flowing and nice looking. All right, I have up here a blank layer. I'm going to grab my text tool, foreground color set to white. I'm setting dynamic text. Whenever you use these text animations, you need to be using dynamic text. Note, I also have the anti-alias set for animation. I'm just going to type show slash hide animations. And I'm going to select this little white box down in the bottom right hand corner of my dynamic text field and just drag it up until this text is simply one line, like so. There we go, we just posi positioned it in the center. One last thing you need to make sure that you do in order to make this animation work, and this is very important, you have to choose this embed button down here in the properties panel. I have this dynamic text field selected. Choose the embed button, the character embedding dialog box appears. Hit autofill, then hit OK. That's it. If you don't autofill this dynamic text field, you will see nothing when we go and preview this with our Flash F component. All right, open up your components panel. Components, Commander Control F7 would be the hotkey. And the first thing we need to do is just drag the main Flash F component and drop it on top of the dynamic text field. It snaps to that top left hand corner. That lets you know, hey, I'm locked in on this dynamic text field. The next thing we want to do. I'm going to deselect. We're going to go Window, Other Panels, Flash F Panel. I have mine open somewhere. Let me find it. Oh, he's over here. And this big panel opens up, and you will need to sign in first. I'll close mine just to show you. Window, Other Panels, Flash F Panel, and we need to sign in. Enter your screen name and password. If I can remember what my password is. I believe that's it. I'm going to tell it not to keep me signed in and sign in. Hey, I got it right. And the next thing we want to do is choose a Flash F component. The Flash F component is this right there. There we go. Note in here, I'm going to collapse that doc. Note in here we have the show and hide as our first two tabs. Choose show, and we're just going to choose an FET pattern. Notice these say FES. FET patterns are specifically designed for text. You can see FET. We're going to choose FET bubbles. The cool thing about FET patterns is they can break a text field down all the way down to individual letters, but it can also select words or even whole lines of text. You can see we have these presets, uh, nine character random. So nine just is the number as far as preset is concerned. That really has nothing to do with the actual preset. But this is going to randomly bubble the characters. And you're going to see what this is going to do. I'm going to go Menu Preview, and you can see individual characters. If we come down to Word Random, you're going to see here it takes the whole words and floats them into place. I'm just going to choose the character Random. Distance I'm going to set to about 150. That increases the distance. The sign or the sinus size is the amount of side-to-side -side play there is. And 20 is a pretty good number. I'm going to up it to 35. The number of sinusoids is simply the number of times it goes back and forth. I'm going to leave that at 4. We're not going to mess around with any of these other tabs right now. We're going to go right over to the Hide tab. The Hide animation is the animation that fades this off. So we're going to choose another FET pattern. And this is going to be FET, let's say, Glow. And this, we're going to write the preset. We're also going to choose character random. We're going to choose a color. The preset's white. I'm going to go to this color right above white, which is like a white with a drop of yellow in it. And everything else we're going to leave at default. 
Now, one other thing about the hide animations is under the options panel, we have the delay. And the delay is the amount of time before this animation kicks in. If you can imagine, if we had no delay, we would have this glow taking our letters away just as quickly as our bubbles were introducing them. So this delay says, hey, wait two seconds before you start playing this animation so you know my text sits on stage for about two seconds. That's good because it gives our users two seconds to read the text. Now, two seconds might not be enough to read the text. So you can increase this delay to 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever you want. I'm going to leave two there. And I am going to move the Flash F panel off screen for a second. And we're going to preview this movie. Control, test movie. OK. Comes on. Wait about two seconds. And glow and disappears. And that is how easy it is to create a show hide animation using the Flash F component. That's it. Created your first show hide animation. Congratulations.